Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. It's your girl, Millie, 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 and I'm back with another video. So today's Sunday. I am going to that influencer event I told you guys about. Um, it's happening. Yes, Beyonce, Beyonce. Let's put some more in. Got me looking stand so deep in your eyes. More and more every time When you leave, I'm begging you not to go Call your name two, three times in a row It's so an easy thing for me to try and explain <laughs> Okay, I'm not Beyonce But, um My outfit is actually not looking terrible I was scared because I've never worn anything like this Um, but obviously I'm trying to go for like a different look And whatnot I couldn't do my makeup either I just put on some foundation That ill maquillage that I got the other day I just put it on my face put on some lashes so yeah <laughs> but i don't look terrible <laughs> miss independent that's why i love her no she's got her own things that's why i love her so yeah i'm about to go i'm just gonna like, request my uber and go we're actually going to another city it's in laval but Laval's pretty close by, I think. It's like a it's like a forty dollar Uber. Contemplating my life. But I'm not gonna take the train. No. I refused. I'm like, should I take the train? Should I not take the train, guys? Sometimes we have to just do what you need to do. And you know, in SA we're so used to taking Ubers because let me tell you something, they are dirt cheap. They are so dirt cheap in South Africa. Like the most I think I paid for an Uber in SA was like maybe Okay, it was about 500 bucks, but I think I was going to Boxburg and Boxburg from like Rudaport, which is like from the west to the east, which is a hectic journey. So that was the most, which comes up to about $30. So Ubers in SA are dirt cheap, Shim. I miss that. I miss just being able to be like, oh, I want to go to Checkers. Oh, Uber, Uber X, Uber Comfort, Uber XL and go. Right now, it's like getting into an uber is like a privilege i use the bus and i use the train all the time 24 7 that's my mode of transport until i get my own car um but yeah anyway we're talking about the influencer event so i didn't get my nails done i wanted to get my hair done but then i couldn't get an appointment but what i'm thinking is this week i'm just gonna put my coin together i need about 500 dollars, and i'm just gonna do my hands and feet i need my pedicure done just between me and you the last time I got my, my, my feet done was my wedding in January. <laughs> Jesus Christ of Nazareth. <laughs> nothing's cute. That's why I'm wearing these boots because nothing's cute. So I need to go get my nails done and then do my hair done. So I just need to do a full maintenance. I'm not even going to think of lashes. I can't. <laughs> But anyway, so now I'm just going to request my Uber and I'm going to go. I'll take y'all with and take a couple of videos. So you see what it looks like, um, this little event I'm going to. If I like it, maybe I'll go to another one. But we'll see because also a ticket to this event costs like $130. $130. Everything in this country costs money. And it's not just like baby money. It's like proper money. It's like money you work for. But anyway... It's all good. I haven't been out. I haven't dressed up since. This is the first time I've dressed up since I've been in Canada. Ladies and gentlemen, applause. Applause. I'm so excited. Um, I hope there's nice snacks. I'm not hungry or anything, but apparently there'll be mimosas floating around. I'm there for the mimosas. Anyway, I'll see you guys on the flip side with me and my fan. Taking over the world, baby. <laughs> okay, let me, let me be serious. Bye, guys. See you. I actually realized that every time I take videos from my office, I put the camera on my desk. So I'm going to start using my stand because I'll be showing y'all the double chin. You'll be seeing me from here. <laughs> 
But let me tell you, like, <laughs> I actually can't take myself seriously. But I just came to show y'all that I do have angles. Where on its fourth, you can't really see like five chins. You know? <laughs> okay, no, you know what? Let me leave. It's just that I'm early. I got ready and I'm early. So I need to leave at like two o'clock. And right now, okay, it's almost two. I guess I can. <laughs> I guess I can start getting ready to leave. Okay, let's get ready to leave. It's time. Whew. At least I know that. Um, well, when this, when this event was advertised and all the Instagram page is all in French and all, so I'm hoping I can find some English-speaking people. And as also the good thing is that I'm also going with a friend who speaks Shona as well. So I'm not too scared about that. Um, but yeah. Hopefully, I'll pick up a friend or two, you know, some affiliates, some business partners. It is a networking event after all, so let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. <laughs>
guys so it's the night before it's the night before <laughs> ah. <laughs> is the day after um, the little event I went to the pink brunch and I'm feeling cool um, I was super super exhausted and super tipsy when I got home we had a lot to drink because it was an open bar and initially I was just drinking like mimosas because that's what was flowing but then they brought out like the cocktails and the cocktails were like yummy like wow there's this one called miss ceo i loved it it had vodka i'm not a vodka person but i loved that cocktail and i hadn't hadn't like actually had a proper drink since i came to canada i have like you know those um like you know those pre-mixed you know gin and whatnot that's what i've actually had since i came back because i'm not like a wine person um like that I drink wine, but usually gives me headaches, so I'm not about drinking wine and water and whatnot. But anyway, those cocktails were good, guys. Those cocktails were good, and they were flowing. There was a waiter. Um, he was black, I guess. And you know how what it's like when you now find people that are really nice to you and the same skin color as you. Not that it's a big thing, but he just kept bringing us stuff. Like, every time something new was released in the kitchen or, at the, you know he was bringing it to our table so he brought us like i was eating oysters one after the other he would bring me prawns there was now a little pork chop moving around something on a waffle there was like a lot of nice food that much i can give them they did very well and if there's anyone who chowed their 130 dollars <laughs> it was me <laughs> i chowed it and crazy enough i actually networked um i didn't think it would be a networking event like that because i figured oh i think people are just coming together to like take pictures but once you get talking to people because obviously you're not just going to get there and stand by yourself you get talking to people you start making friends and there were people who work in big banks there's actually a woman i met there she works at the bank that i bank with and she's a mortgage specialist and you know she's discussing with me how to do the house process there were realtors girls in finance i was literally the only musician there like makeup artists there was like a lot of people and i actually liked it because um we all were just following each other on instagram and my fan was a hit guys it started getting a bit hot in there and i was the only one with a little fan so I was like yeah i made a lot of friends because of that fan they would just come and they're like can i use your fan i'm like come do it do it do your thing um but yeah overall i think it was a 10 out of 10 you know i think it was worth 130 bucks because it was so nice the deco was nice drinks on deck they didn't run out of bev they didn't run out of food things were just flowing um and i guess you can see that from like my vlog like Things were just flowing and they were playing afro beat and daju those are my favorite things okay daju is kind of is afro beat but i just had to mention daju because daju is french music so they had to play him but they were playing like burner boy you know all those guys obviously burner boy <laughs> and calm down you will not go anywhere in montreal where they do not play baby calm down come down. that is literally afro beat for them but anyway i don't mind it i like rema but i had so much fun um i'm gonna be looking out for these kind of events because it's really nice like it's a breath of fresh air everyone there has like their own issues and some of people don't have friends some have plenty friends so they introduce you to theirs so it was really really nice i'm definitely gonna be looking out for something else like this and i feel like it's so easy how people can make money like that because there were like about almost 50 girls there uh, 50 girls and each of us paid $130 and I don't think she spent all that money on um, the event because it was in her building so she used you know like we have a clubhouse so she used that area so I'm sure she didn't pay for it um, and then she doesn't even enter she just does one speech at the beginning like guys get to know each other and that's literally what we're doing dancing to music eating drinking and we got to know each other and she made coin and we had fun it's just it was such a simple thing. She didn't have to do anything else, you know, like, oh, guys, let's play a game. Oh, let's do this. Let's get to know. No, people were just getting to know each other by themselves. So, yeah, that's amazing. Anyway, 
that's my update and i'll see you guys in the next video i loved it i loved it so much i'm doing it again. i'm going to do it again soon the very first minute i can do it because i loved it i liked getting to go out and buy clothes i haven't bought clothes since i came to canada guys that's how deep it is i just bought like gym wear because i need clothes for the gym but me myself to actually get into a boutique and shop because i was always afraid that stuff would be so expensive but it wasn't if i tell you my suit i bought it for 55 dollars that's and the skirt 55 dollars that's a steal even in africa 55 dollars is less than a thousand bucks for a blazer unless it's mr price even mr price you can looking at between three and four hundred bucks or even five hundred so i feel like i shouldn't be scared anymore i should just go out there and be a little butterfly that i am shop away girl <laughs> but yes yes i had fun i had fun what else happened i think it was such a good time it was just a good time it was nice to see other women and not be having to be with my husband and having to be with my child because it's just us here you know so it's like it's, it's crazy like that okay it's not just us we are friends and we have family but you know it's a bit different than in south africa than it was in south africa but anyway i had fun i'm gonna get on with my day again i've updated you guys guys i loved it i loved it shim oh i loved it <laughs> It was just nice being out. I guess that's the biggest thing about it. But anyway, yeah. Let me go now. Let me actually go now. I know I said let me go before, but I'm going now. I love you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.